Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am here to tell you the most interesting fact about all time famous two scientists. Guess. Who are they? None other than Einstein and Newton. They were most popular in their own timeline. But Einstein is still much popular in these days rather than Newton. Why? People used to have a debate on the topic that who is more genius. Now we will talk about their contribution on physics. Let's talk about Newton. He was born on January 4, 1643, in Woolsthorpe, Lincolnshire, England. When the Great Plague shuttered Cambridge in 1665, he returned home and began formulating his theories on calculus, light and color, his farm the setting for the supposed falling apple that inspired his work on gravity. When he discovered gravity and gravitational force of celestial bodies, he realized that, that for the calculation of force of gravitation, calculus mathematics is necessary. Then he developed the concept of calculus and written the book Principles of Naturalis Principia Mathematica in 1687. This book is almost heart of mathematics and physics in these days. So this discovery was most crucial achievement in the era of modern physical world. In the same year, he discovered the most important laws. His these three laws almost change the daily life into easy life. All the industrial machines are working on his principles. Rocket science was almost impossible without his third law of motion. Because of these important contribution on physics Newton became a famous man in this era. So we can't compare him with anyone by his unforgettable achievement in physics. Now, it's time to talk about Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein was born at Ulm, in Württemberg, Germany, on March 14, 1879. In 1905 he obtained his doctor's degree. During his stay at patent office, and in his spare time, he produced much of his remarkable work. When he discovered theory of relativity, he reveled a lot of hidden secret of nature. According to his theory time is not absolute is another dimension it can affect the events in other dimensions. It is big one he reveled after all the concept of observing universes totally changed, he made correction to the Newtonian mechanic about space. Newton's mechanic followed Euclidean geometry means all about three dimensions. At the initial stage of his life he didn't believe on quantum mechanics. He believed in deterministic world mean we have to be able to measure everything accurately and he didn't believe in probabilistic measurements. But after all he convinced with quantum principle. He did a big experiment on quantum physics that photon behavior of light before that light was supposed to be a wave. He got Nobel Prize for photoelectric effect of light. Through this experiment he discovered particle nature of light. Through the special theory of relativity he got the very famous and practical equation E equals mc squared. After this the concept of atom has come to an existence. It is used as big weapon to get a massive amount of nuclear energy. In another word matter is interchangeable with energy using speed of light, even at end of his life or even after his retirement life he still worked in physics, he tried to unify all fundamental forces into a single field. He worked on unified field theory, that is still not proved. Many scientists are working on the same topic to reveal the secret of nature. He believed in imagination. He is most genius scientist of all time. All we do here is we got the contribution of both legend physicist. I think both of them are unforgettable and crucial for the field of physics, they are not comparable to each other. They are great by their work during their own timeline. What do you think about this? Don't forget to comment below. Write your own view in comment. Thank you so much for your valuable time. If you like this content, don't forget to like and share with your friends. Subscribe the channel to get such type of wonderful fact about maths and physics.